All right, what's happening, everyone? Jay Shockblast here, and I am thrilled to have with me today uh, as a guest, David Nakayama, one of my absolute favorite comic book artists. I like pretty much buy every cover that I can that that he does. So uh, thank you so much for uh, joining me for this. Uh, how are you doing today out in Hawaii? Uh, it, it, I'm doing great. It's going well. <laughs> thank you for having me. Uh, you're, sure. you're killing it over there on YouTube. So I'm very honored to be on your show. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. So when I saw the art, uh, the little motion comic that we saw for War for Wakanda, I'm watching it the whole time and I'm like, man, that looks looks familiar. And <laughs> sure enough, it was you. Um, what was it like, you know, working with Crystal Dynamics and, and how did this all kind of come about for you? Well, you know, they it was, it was pretty much as simple as they contacted me out of the blue. You know, I, I'm a freelancer. I hang my shingle out there and people want to work with me. They get in touch. Uh, if it's a cool opportunity, we make it happen. And what could be cooler than working with Crystal Dynamics on the freaking Avengers game, you know, right? right? So, <laughs> I know you've been a big advocate since the beginning. I've been a big fan as well. Um, I love Marvel games. I like everything they do. And this is no exception. So when they came calling, I was I was very quick to join that. And also the fact that uh, what they had in mind was this motion comic, which was very cool. So I, I, I knew right away that it was going to be a fun thing to work on. Challenging for sure, because there's a whole lot of art required for something like that. But uh, I, I mean, what, what can I say? They had me at Black Panther. They had me at Crystal Dynamics. It was pretty <laughs> simple. <laughs> yeah. So, like, what was your exposure to Marvel's Avengers before this? Uh, is it a game? I mean, I saw your Captain America. Uh, so you obviously have the collector's edition. Uh, is that a game that you you play often, or? I play as much as I can. My my problem is that as an artist, I my work requires a lot of hours. Right. So. I game as much as I can. It is the thing uh, I like to do for fun. My daughter asked me, what do you do for fun the other day, Dad? And I said, oh, video games. <laughs> so that, that is my, my jam. But I can only play when I when I don't have deadlines crushing my, you know. Right. Yeah, <laughs> crushing you've, you've got a lot of great stuff coming out. It's awesome. Um, so the, the really important question is, who do you main when you do play? I mean... You know, Captain America. I got you. <laughs> it's a lot of fun to play, so I don't blame you whatsoever. I mean, obviously, I'm a four main personally, but uh, before the two Hawkeyes came out, Captain America was my easy number two. So, uh, Black Panther obviously comes out tomorrow. Uh, what does Black Panther mean to you? And when you did this, was there anything you wanted to kind of bring out in in the art? Because you have a very unique style. Thanks. I appreciate that. Um, I guess for me, like, when I saw that Black Panther movie, it just completely knocked me on my butt. You know, I liked the character before, as I do with all Marvel characters, but that movie to me was magic. And it was like one of the very best MCU films. I fell in love with the entire world. Uh, I just thought they did such a good job. And yeah, it was basically a perfect movie to me. So with War for Wakanda, that was the opportunity for them, you know, for Marvel Games and for Crystal to, to bring this world into video game. A production value for the first time. I mean, have we even had Black Panther in any meaningful way in video games before? Maybe in that old Avengers beat him up, you know, but, Lego uh, games otherwise, mostly. Right. So this is a completely different level, like many, many levels over what we've seen before. Um, so I, I guess to me, the, the real excitement of it is, is and the, the thing that people aren't even prepared for is to go from basically nothing to triple a quality full yeah. game expansion <laughs> right. you know that, i think that's going to blow people's minds um me working on i didn't work directly on the game i obviously worked on the um right the motion comic that goes with it but uh crystal dynamics is a triple a studio they were super prepared their producers were ready with you know with specific goals and with tons of reference uh i was just impressed at the the level of production uh, that they maintain you know like I, i've worked for video game studios before but um this was another level so i guess that was part of the excitement for me as well now had you i think i saw you say something on twitter is this your first time really doing a motion comic or have you worked on that stuff before uh, no true it's uh so people may or may not know that i used to i started my career in art as a comic artist i did interiors for several years 
on things like a City of Heroes comic and Marvel Adventures and Big uh, Big Hero Six at some point uh, before it was a movie. And <laughs> but then I went off to video game land for twelve years and sort of moonlighted as a cover artist. Um, you know, as of three or three four years ago, I started just freelancing on that kind of stuff full time. Um, so I, I, it's been a lot. It's been years since I did proper sequential art. And one of the cool things with this project, it was a return to sequential art, like trying to tell a story with pictures, not just one picture. So, uh, and, and the fact that it could be animated as well by one of the best teams in the world was was not a bad thing. That was that sure. was good. Yeah, it came out <laughs> great. Um, oh, so that kind of cliff notes or dovetails into the question I had next, which was kind of a cliff cliff note style of how you got to where you are. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I think that it's really awesome that you're working on this game because it does mean a lot to me and, you know, or that you worked on this little piece. I mean, I know it's a small piece, but it, it's a very distinct piece. Um, we see that, that is T'Chaka, right? The It's not necessarily Black Panther. The throwback was T'Chaka and like an old school cap, right? I understood it was uh, T'Challa's grandfather, oh, not T'Chaka. Gotcha. So, uh, I, however, the dates line out. It, right. it was obviously not T'Challa; it was someone before him. Right. I think it was two generations, though. Yeah, I really loved that suit. That like, and I think there is a version of it uh, as a playable in the game. So, I think I'm going to call that the Nakayama suit. <laughs> well, thank you for that. But in fact, uh, I have to give credit to Crystal because they're, at, you know, I mentioned how prepared they were. They had that design ready to go and they had the World War Captain America, two, uh, World, War, World War II Captain America suit designed nice. and ready to go. The only thing I did, I think, was uh, open, open the mouth at their request for the Black Panther suit. But uh, it was their design and I love it. It's really cool with the, uh, you know, the asymmetrical skin hanging over the front in particular. Nice. Well, I, you've done so many, so many different things. I mean, I've seen you do like Marvel Legends packaging. You know, you've uh, you've done covers. Obviously, is there like I know it's like asking you like, oh, what's your favorite child? But like, do you have something you've worked on that really stands out to you? That's like a favorite, or maybe one or two things you can think of. Well, recently I've been doing a lot of fun uh, sort of theme covers with unknown comics. So yeah. yeah. For people not familiar with it, um, Unknown works with Marvel. They have an exclusive version of a real Marvel comic. I work directly with my regular Marvel editors. It's all a Marvel production, but it is only sold through this particular retailer. And so some of the things we've been working on recently is we had uh, a theme of what, what I started calling color bleed covers. So it's a right. little bit like a negative space cover in the sense that the background color and the character's foreground color are the same. And so you get this weird illusion thing happening of what is flat and what is uh what is three-dimensional and it's it's kind of fun it's it looks cool it it, it, it engages the viewer for sure. in a way that series has been really fun for me um and then the other one is we recently did six six covers uh for uh to tie in with the hellfire gala x-men right. event and i did them all as faux magazine like in the in the style of vogue or something like that uh, that seems to have gone over really well with Love fans those. as well. Yeah, Thank I, got, you, man. I got both versions of every single one of those. This is uh, one of my favorite ones that uh, you did with them. And I awesome. regretted I regretted not getting the one where it was Scott in the background and uh, <laughs> cool. Gene kissing Wolverine. So I ended up getting it. I kind of wish I got the graded one back then. But eventually, I do plan on sending it in. But I loved, I loved that cover. Like, I mean, it was really, really awesome. Um, so I didn't really start this. We've, act, I think you might remember. I know you meet a million people. We met before at New York Comic Con, and awesome. I didn't realize at the time how many like Deadpool covers of yours that I owned, and oh, how no you, were, you were like already one of my like favorite like artists at the time. I got this graded. I apparently did not have the greatest version, but this is like one of my yes. favorite, favorite covers. <laughs> I only got an 8.5, which I was really sad about. But like when I sent, I sent him 20 books to get graded and I very specifically sent that one. And my brother, who's actually sitting off in the background, uh, met you at Megacon a couple years ago. He actually got that as a print and I have it hanging on my wall upstairs. So, um, but I, always, I thought it was crazy because I actually walked through looking for you 
because they had just announced uh, a dark hawk cover that you did and i was hoping right. that you would end up having a print but then i get to your table finally going through all this artist alley which is like the biggest thing i've ever seen and i'm like oh my god i'm so embarrassed i like love your stuff already so um yeah that for me like that's some of my favorite stuff that you've done and um i the two most recent ones of yours i just got yes uh, were the masters of the universe and the Apex amazing legends um what was it like working on the masters of the universe stuff specifically well i mean you can probably tell thank you by the way for that whole summary <laughs> and, and, and uh introduction on that um as you can probably tell, I am a gigantic nerd, and I love Same. all of uh, right. <laughs> really. <laughs> um, I I love all of these IPs uh, deeply. You know, going back to when I was a little kid, and uh, you know, stuff like He Man was like my favorite cartoon for a good long stretch. You know, when I was a kid. So now I'm I'm in the I'm fortunate to have the opportunity to be offered some of these these covers now. And I, I can't, I can't say no, you know, because they're like my yeah. favorite thing, you right. know, like Apex, Avengers, He-Man, X-Men. I mean, these are all things I really, really love. I'm, I'm fortunate that, you know, I, uh, I have the luxury of being able to pick and choose what I do. I, I, I have to turn things down sometimes, but I'm never going to turn down my favorite IPs. You know? oh, that sounds <laughs> awesome. It sounds like a good problem to have. <laughs> it, it, it's, I'm not complaining. <laughs> <laughs> um, is there something that you haven't worked on yet that we can speak into existence? Like some franchise you love <laughs> that that, that, uh, that you just love to work on in some way? Sure. I mean, like, I, I love all this stuff. There's, there's really no wrong answer. Some things that I would love to, you know, to put my fan energy into um, is I haven't done a hell of a lot of DC yet. You know, I would love to to get uh, yeah, a little more into that. Um, I haven't done anything in TV and film, you know, not really. So that would be cool. Like, uh, can you imagine like uh, some kind of Marvel uh, MCU project? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I feel like cool. I have a lot of lo love to give to some concept art or something. All right, so um, put you on this. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, I guess just to finish it up real quick, the the last thing is, uh, as a as a huge gamer, um, yeah. sort of AAA projects are a big deal to me you know like when, when i go to comic conventions i i offer people perks to commission me to draw things that i want to draw and the things the things that i ask to draw are things like you know aloy from horizon zero dawn or near automata or you know just things i love in the game world that i would love to to work on more officially i think i have aloy right there you can there she see is it. yeah so i got like that collector <laughs> statue um what was I gonna? Oh, specifically DC. Any any character specifically that you think we could get you on? Hmm. Um. I don't know if it's such. You know, it's a specific character. Everyone loves Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, right. Green Lantern, Flash. Like all that stuff is good news. I. For me, it really just goes back to how did how did I encounter these characters originally? And you know, when I started collecting comics, and I would go to the comic store with my dad. You know, when I was whatever you know 11 12 something like that um it was it was all good you know all that stuff was was meaningful to me i read all of that stuff and so that stuff has a place in my heart i you know and that applies to just about everything the only things i'm not into are things that were sort of after my time you know like power rangers is kind of the one after that it, <laughs> i wasn't watching too many cartoons so that stuff is maybe not in my heart the way the other things are yeah i i power rangers is about where i kind of stopped and my brother kind of picked it up so i'm i'm with you on that um so you know mega comics this past weekend unfortunately couldn't make it with everything that's been going on do you have yeah. any other cons lined up specifically hopefully new york comic con i'm hoping so i certainly put in my application for it but at this point i don't think read pop has gotten back to any of the artists about who's an artist alley or gotcha. not um, in the past, they've they've been gracious and let me come uh, several times, uh, as you know, <laughs> we, since we met. And uh, I'm hoping that that will be true again. But I I don't know. I don't know yet. Um, I like that the city is trying to keep COVID down because I I was unprepared for COVID to right. ramp up the way it did in Florida, and that really screwed up the plans. Yeah. So anything the cities can do to keep it down so that we have less chance of it blowing up while we're actually there for the con you know you got to sign up for right. the cons in advance you don't want to 
be surprised when the actual right. day comes around the way we were. Um, so I'm hoping that New York or C2E2 may happen, but what can we do? It's just such a weird year. Well, uh, I really, really, again, appreciate you taking the time to meet with me. Hopefully I do get to, you know, shake your hand at New York Comic Con or at least fist bump. Uh, and uh, I definitely, again, I'm, I was so excited to see you working on this. So War for Wakanda comes out tomorrow, uh, which is August 17th. Uh, and you can, I'll put a link, uh, just davidnakayama.com. Is that the best way to get you? That's great. Or I'm just known as my own name on Twitter, Instagram, everything. It's been really easy to find. Perfect. Well, I'll put all the links there. Uh, again, you're one of my absolute favorite comics, uh, comic artists in the world. So thank you for all the wonderful work you do. And again, thank you so much for uh, chatting with me today. I hope you have a great rest of your day, man. You bet. I'm a big, I'm a big fan of yours as well, Jay. Thanks so much <laughs> thank for you. having me. All right. Cool, man. Okay. All right.